other gun still awake? Crying? <laughs> I know. So incredibly I know. Okay. Wrong. Wrong. So I'm going over sensitive identification. Um, sensitive identification uses sight words, pictures, a combination of both to assist a learner in obtaining information as well as retaining information. Um, I particularly like this strategy a lot because you can use it with any age group. You can apply it to a variety of topics. You can modify it to the specifications of a learner. Um, it's super easy to implement, and most importantly, it's super effective. Um, so I'm gonna go over two examples of how you can do this, and I will need to be involved in here. Don't all raise your hand at once. You're killing me. depending on the type of learner that you're trying to teach this to. So one card is Thomas's name. I have three other cards that are words that start with T that are obviously used as distractors. So before I even start to do this strategy with Tom, I have to make sure that I have all of my materials and I have to be organized because fluency and fluidity makes or breaks this kind of strategy. Absolutely. Before I even do that, I have to make sure that she's attending. Nothing is more frustrating, especially with little kids, when you are trying to make them focus and you slowly start to see them fade away. Kind of like what some of you look like right now, fighting away from you right now. Same, <laughs> 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 in the room. Um, so make sure you have that attending behavior. Uh, usually what I do, um, when they're sitting down, like, you ready? I look for that eye contact, I look for that verbal reciprocation, a non-verbal, bring the hands on the lap, putting hands on the table, all of which ways that you can make sure that the learner is present with you, which is important. So, she's sitting at the table, she's looking at me, Thomas is ready. Okay, so I'm gonna stand behind her. Um, you never wanna stand next to her because what can happen is prompt dependency, which is super hard to, uh, you know, really hard, especially when they're older. So I'm gonna stand behind her, him, Thomas, <laughs> and I'm going to display the cards in no particular order. And I'm going to do, uh, give my SD or present my demand. Show me Thomas. Thomas has a five second prompt delay, so I'm going to allow the five seconds to go by. And for this particular trial, we want to get it right. So he gets it right. That's right. That's Thomas. Good job, dude. You're going to take all your cards. You're going to go over to the next set. Now we're going to do this over again when he gets it incorrect. Again, no particular order. Be mindful of where you're putting your cards because subconsciously sometimes you could create a directional bias and that's, that's hard to teach out as well. So, um, make sure you vary the SD as well. Show me Thomas. If he gets it incorrect this time, if I see him start to cover to the wrong answer or etc., using a partial prompt or full physical, have him go over Thomas, like that's Thomas. So now we're gonna go over into what I like to call round two. Take a card, again, random word that's something. And then this time, I'm not going to allow Thomas to have his five second delay. I'm gonna go right in there with a zero second prompt delay. Show me Thomas, take a stand immediately. That's Thomas. Right, so, going to round three. Same thing as round one. I'm gonna give him back that five second prompt delay again. That's Thomas. He gets it right. And then you can go on to the next set. Should he get it incorrect? We're gonna do the exact same thing that we did in round two, and make sure that he hits her on the sand, close on top of his cards, because we don't want to end on an error. The worst thing you can do. And then you would go on to the next set. So that's what sight words. Um, funny story, I had a client, uh, we were out in the community. Um, he asked to go use the bathroom. So I was like, yeah, sure, self-advocacy, use the bathroom. He has a tendency to a little play to make sure that I have his time on. So, uh, I see my client, he walks up, he looks at the men's room, looks at the women's room, looks at the men's room again, walks right into the women's room. That's a problem. <laughs> but thankfully, the space that we were utilizing was just us. So there was no real concern there. 
but that's not just that that's not a problem. Because if you're at a restaurant and you go to the bathroom and you hear high pitched shrieks from the women's room because a 6'4, 220 pound young man decided to waltz right on in there, that's a problem. So, what we decided to do with this client was use pictures. And it's the same exact kind of um, array or um, you know, like, like uh, the flow of the slide words. Again, five second delay. Touch men. He gets it right. That's men. So, if he gets it right on this time, we're going to go over to something else. It's the same thing, just different colors. For the sake of generalization, not all bathroom signs are black, not all bathroom blue, signs are blue. So we have to change it up every now and then. Um, what else? Not you, you know. <laughs> um, so again, just thank you so much for all Yeah, I do appreciate that. Um, just always be aware of you know, the direction of bias of where you're putting your cards, so you can you know, change this up to wherever you want to put this, um, on the table at least. But also, you guys know your learner better than I do. If your learner does not like to be touched, please opt out of using the partial or full physical prompt. You can do the gesture, you can do the model. You know your learner better than I do. Um, and alongside, as just as important as attending behavior, is I always try and make my clients, whether they be three years old or 23 years old, make sure they are in a happy, Relaxed and engaged state before I even try to do any of this kind of strategies. Because if they're happy when they're learning, it, it's going to be a better outcome. Because if they don't want to do this, learning is going to become aversive and then it's just all going to go down. So that is receptive identification strategies with words and pictures. There you go. <laughs> Thank you again for helping me, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 